This is a Hellcat Z76. I left the case open um, in case I want to just check out a tube. Uh, because once you close the case, it kind of takes a screwdriver to open it. Um, right now, I am on WWV, which is on 20 megahertz or mega cycles from the era I came in. This was the first uh, type of receiver I had when I was a kid, uh, when I was 14. And I love them because I have one over here, uh, parts one, and I have one over there that I use. So, um, I'll just tune, this is band four, I'm going to tune across it, I'm trying to find something. There, are, there must be signals here somewhere. That sounds like uh, Citizens Man. Oh, and that's um, FT8. Oh, yeah, that's FT8. I can copy FT8 in my head on 10 meters. Uh, uh, there are still stations in um, uh, Europe uh, on, and that guy is. Uh, he has his signal was minus 10, and he's talking to a guy in, in uh, Warsaw, Wisconsin. Uh, so he's talking to a guy in Warsaw, Wisconsin. So uh, that's who he's talking to. Um, and uh, I, I noticed on WWV today, they didn't change the time. Today is happens, the day I'm recording, this happens to be the day that uh, we move the clocks ahead, but they didn't move their WWV clock ahead. I don't know why. Let me, let me see if I can check it out. I'm trying to find it again. Oh, it's got to be there somewhere. Oh, uh, anyway. Oh, uh, that's uh, on 17 meters. And that is, uh, that is also FT8. Uh, that's, uh, there's some domestic stations there. And that's music. It's 20 meters. Anyway, so we see that band four works. Let's go to band three. Okay. Um, I think you're yelling this and that, and another one is this to go. I wonder what that was. I heard it. Oh, it's going back and forth anyway. Should be able to find uh, 40 meters here. Got a lot of noise. Oh, that guy, that's an AM guy. If I get up after only sleeping five hours, I would have. I have the calibration a little off here. Let's see which way should I move it. I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll put it around 7.C. See if I can find them. Yeah, there it is. So it's around the right. Here. Trying to copy sideband. Hold it. Trying to copy sideband on one of these things is tough because it doesn't have a product detector. But I will see. But you have to, you have to turn the RF gain down. Almost got him.
Okay. So you have to be very careful because you have to change the RF gain to, because it doesn't have a product detector. Uh, let's see if we can do it with CW. That's uh, FT8. That's a little bit of a local guy. He's uh, in Vermont. And you can narrow the you can narrow the bandpass. I've, I've narrowed the bandpass a lot. Let's see. Come on, talk a little longer. There's a guy calling CQ. There was one guy on there calling CQ. I can narrow it a little bit more. There was, and there's a slow guy on there. Okay, so that's uh, that's the band three. Let's go to band two. Take the VFO. I don't think you're going to hear anything on it. As you can see, it's the daytime. But you'll hear some noise anyway. So... Uh, let me set the band spread back to where it ought to be. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go to the broadcast band, see if we hear anything. It's on a G5RE, so you might not pick up. So there's something on the broadcast band. Don't hear a whole lot. Okay. Oh, I have to forgot that. So that's why we why we didn't hear a whole lot. So that's not a bad sound. Let's go back to band two and see if we hear anything. More. Yeah, I got a lot of noise in this era. Oh, I, I did hear a sideband station on there. Anyway, I'm not going to try and copy the sideband station. I've already been, this video is already eight minutes long. So, um, that's the Holocrafters S76. Uh, there's the back of it. I don't know if you can how well you can see that. There's the back of it, and uh, there's the inside. Okay. Uh, there's these are variable air capacitors. You can spray nitrogen in there, and but I don't think that's going to do much. That's going to do a whole lot of good. Um, in any event, there it is.